I'm Shines and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about camera gear, which I know I'm a synthesizer YouTuber and that's really not my thing, but since the whole point of my channel is to film my Dollis Jams, I thought I'd introduce you guys to a camera that I think is really good for beginners. And if you're on the fence about buying a camera, this video might give you some good suggestions as to where to start. Back in 2020, my entire goal with this channel was to be a travel music video channel. And well, I really haven't been traveling, but some of my early jams really show what I was trying to do. Uh, quick disclaimer, I'm gonna talk about some products from various companies today. I'm in no way sponsored by them. Pretty much got all my gear using credit card points and doing video gigs, such as this one. Yeah, every now and then I get asked to make beer ads. So I wanna introduce you guys to this. This is the Canon SL3 or the uh, 250D, depending on where you live. And this was my main camera right up until this year when I got my Black Magic. It's the smallest Canon DSLR. And I know that mirrorless is kind of all the rage right now. And that's what most manufacturers are making. But there are some good reasons I went with this camera back in 2020. The first reason is the lens option. My main lens for traveling is this 24 millimeter pancake lens. At this focal length, it's kind of perfect for doing my Dollis Jams. It'll give me a nice wide view of my table or wherever I put my synthesizers. And it's just an all around good lens to travel with. And honestly, I think that Canon makes some really budget friendly lenses. There's this pancake lens, but then there's also the Nifty 50, very affordable 50 millimeter lens. And the best part is all these lenses can stick around if you ever decide to upgrade to full frame or a different camera system. So a big question that I get a lot is, why did you get a DSLR versus a mirrorless camera? Pretty much all the manufacturers right now are making mirrorless cameras. And if you don't know what that is, the way a DSLR works is that there's a mirror inside that will actually flip up to expose the sensor every time you click the shutter button. And for filming video, the mirror stays up and allows light to hit the sensor. A mirrorless camera does away with that mechanism and the sensor just does the work internally. This saves on a lot of size, so most mirrorless cameras are gonna be a lot thinner and a lot smaller than this one. However, with that decrease in size comes a decrease in battery life. And that's really the main reason I got a DSLR. Are. On mirrorless, you kind of rely on the screen for everything, meaning that the whole time the screen is on and that actually uses up a lot more battery power than something like this would. And that's the main reason I decided to stick with the DSLR. The other one is actually the lens choices. So all the new mirrorless cameras actually have different lens mounts than these do. And since those cameras are so new, the lenses are just not that available on the used market. So going with something that's slightly older allows me to go out there and find a lot more used lenses. My favorite lens right now is actually an old Nikon lens. It's a 50 millimeter and it's all manual. It's really hard to use and I love it. So other things about this camera that make it really good for filming your Dollis jams, there is a mic port on the camera. So super useful for just plugging all your instruments directly into the camera. And it actually has sound monitoring built in. Not to mention, it actually has a whole lot of other video features as well. And these are some pretty pro features like focus peaking, a histogram. So if you want, this thing could actually be your cinema camera. Speaking of which, once you do get this camera, you are gonna wanna download the cine style profile onto it. It's made by Technicolor and it really unlocks the dynamic range that this camera can see. Then you'll be able to color grade your footage and do all this other crazy stuff with it that I should probably save for another video. It's also small enough to where when you put it on a gimbal, balancing it is really easy. Now there are other equivalents to this that are worth mentioning. There's the EOS M50, the EOS M200, and recently I've seen the Sony ZV-1, all in a similar price range to the SL3. However, all of them are mirrorless. Finding lenses on the used market might be a little bit tricky. The Canon SL3 can be picked up for about 650 new. You can find it for even cheaper on the used market. So aside from the camera, there are some other pieces of gear that I would recommend getting if you're getting into Dollis jamming. The first of which is a good tabletop tripod. If you're traveling, this is absolutely essential. You might want something that you can just set on a desk or a table next to your gear that can give you a good filming angle. And if you're doing a lot of handheld stuff, I would absolutely recommend getting a top handle like this. There's just so much you can do with this that I think this is an essential piece of gear. Now I did say there was a mic port in this camera that you can hook directly into, but you can always get one of these Zoom H2N portable recorders. And here's a video if you're looking to learn a little bit more about portable recording. Okay, so I've spoken a lot of praise about this camera and obviously it's got a lot of pros for filming your jams on the go, but there are some cons that I feel are absolutely worth mentioning. First of all, it does film in 4K, but its 4K is very hard to use. It'll crop your image down by 2.5 
times. You could imagine having to set your camera across a room in order to get a nice close-up of your gear. It also has some pretty awful rolling shutter, so I wouldn't be taking this thing vlogging or doing any crazy sweeping shots with it in 4K. Also, this is not a full frame camera, meaning that the sensor size is not equivalent to 35 millimeter film. So you will lose a little bit of picture clarity and it will crop your image in for photos at about 1.6 times. Really not the end of the world, but it does change things when you're thinking about focal lengths. One more nitpick, this is not weather sealed. So if you're out in the rain, well, don't be out in the rain and definitely don't take this camera into the ocean even if it's sealed in a Ziploc bag. All to say, I absolutely adore this camera. It's really small, it's really portable, and I think it's a great match for anyone who's thinking about getting into Dallas jamming, YouTube travel videos, or beer ads. So what kind of gear do you use? Are you using your phone? Are you using a DSLR? Or have you jumped to mirrorless? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much again for watching. We'll catch you next time.